Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach who has lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss and it's Friday, so it's weigh-in day. We're going to talk about my week, week finishing out week seven of my eight week cut, as well as the Weight Watchers workshop topic, set some goals for next week, and this week's weigh-in. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on, because we do a weigh-in every Friday, and I actually upload five videos every single week. Down in the description box, I will link nutrition coaching. Highly recommend those customized to you macros and calories. This is what I calculated and followed to lose my 100 and 40 pounds, as well as maintain that weight loss for over a year and a half, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. It's free, it's supportive, we would love to have you. So let's talk about my week, my weigh-in, and the Weight Watchers workshop topic. Happy Friday, friends. I hope you had an amazing, amazing week. Before we get started on today's video, I want to put out, I want to send out a huge, huge, huge thank you to every single one of you who has purchased my health and nutrition planner. I have been using this planner now for a couple of months and I'm loving it. I use it daily. It's a digital product. It's perpetual. You can use it week after week, month after month, year after year. It's an amazing, amazing tool, not only for weight loss, but for overall health. There's habit trackers. There's recipes, book recommendations, workouts. It is all encompassing of everything that has helped me be successful on my weight loss journey all in one place. It is under $20 and all of the proceeds of the health and meal plan health and nutrition planner go to this little thing back here so that she can continue to go through her chemotherapy treatments. She does have, my dog Lola has lymphoma cancer. She was diagnosed about a year and a half ago. She has been through one full round of chemotherapy and we are halfway through our second round. She's doing amazing. She's in full remission. She's living her best life, but chemotherapy treatment is between 11 and $15,000 per round and we're in round two. So I wanted to do something that benefited each and every one of you you. It's under $20. It's affordable for everyone. And then something that would, all of the proceeds could go to the best cause ever. And that's keeping Lola healthy and happy. So thank you so much for everyone who's purchased it, who's reached out and said that you love it as much as I do. And I will have it linked in the description box if you're interested in grabbing it for yourself. Again, it's under $20 and both myself and little Lola, thank you. So let's jump into my week. I'm so excited to be ending week seven of my eight week cut. Not gonna lie, I'm happy. I'm excited for it to be over. I was actually just having this conversation with Kayleen, my coach through Trainwell, which is formerly Copilot Fitness. It's the app I use for my workouts. And I was telling her, I'm so happy that this is almost over. I've seen some pretty exciting changes on my cut, not necessarily on the scale, but in my body, even she made a comment when I checked in on Friday about my pictures. So I'm excited that this cut is almost over. I'm ready to go back to maintenance. Next week's weigh-in will be the last week of my cut. So I'll share with you updates, pictures. We'll talk about measurements, weight loss. It's going to be an exciting video next week. So make sure you're subscribed and your bell's on so you don't miss it. But I did well this week. I stayed in my caloric deficit. This week wasn't as bad as last week. I will say that I'll that I did start my cycle this week. So as it got closer to that starting, I was a little bit more hungry and a little bit more cravy of sugar and carbohydrates, but I just committed to myself and stayed in my calorie deficit, still hit my protein goal every single day. Feel pretty good about how the week went food-wise. I got in all of my workouts this week. I've still been focused on my water, especially as I start to experience some bloating leading up to my cycle. I've been pushing for water. I feel really good about the week. It's definitely been a little bit better than last week as far as hunger goes. Even with the start of my cycle, I didn't notice those increased cravings and bloating until just a couple of days before my cycle actually started. So overall, this week, this week was a good one. My friend Rachel and my friend Kelly and her daughter Cassie from San Diego come in tomorrow. It is Rachel's birthday weekend and we're doing a little bit of a girls weekend. We're going to spend Friday here in Tucson and then we're heading over to Chandler, Phoenix area on Saturday. There's a coffee shop that went viral on Instagram that we're going to go to. We're all huge coffee lovers. There's a couple of restaurants we want to try out. And then because it's Rachel's birthday weekend, we're going to go to the 
premium outlets in Phoenix, which are supposed to be some of the best premium outlets. And we're going to do some shopping. So I'm excited for this weekend. It's going to be a bit of a challenge staying in a cut, but I'm going to do my best. And if I go over my calories a little bit, not a huge deal. I'm still going to be in a deficit. It just kind of narrows that window for a few days, which shouldn't affect my overall success at the end of the week. So I'm excited for a little bit of a girl's weekend. Before I jump into my weigh-in week seven of my cut, let's talk about this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic. And that is three steps to overcome a setback. I always say that setbacks are going to happen multiple times on a weight loss and health journey. Even at maintenance, they're setbacks. Setbacks are something that we can just expect forever. So we want to talk about three easy steps on how to overcome those and not let them set us back. No pun intended. Maybe you've gained weight. Maybe you're over your points or your calories. We do not want to let this setback derail us from our overall progress. It's normal. It's normal on a health journey. And like I said, it's going to happen for the rest of our lives. We just need to figure out some ways to navigate that and to make it less of a setback. So try this. First, think of simple, healthy behaviors you've learned, leaned on in the past. Then cross out any that may not feel doable after a setback. Maybe you attend a workshop, make a weekly grocery list and shop, prep low point lunches, reflect on non-scale victories, and go to bed by 11. And again, cross off the ones that don't feel doable right now. And number two, from the remaining, consider which are easier or come more naturally, help you feel your best and you enjoy or at least don't dread. And number three, choose one or two actions that feel most realistic and helpful, then write down an action plan for potential scenarios. If I gain two or more pounds, I will prep my lunches and celebrate one non-scale victory every single day. So the setback is gaining the two or more pounds and the action is to prep my lunches and celebrate one non-scale victory every day. So when there's a setback, what's the action that you're going to take to overcome it? We can feel discouraged, worried, feel like we're not going to ever reach our goals. These are all very normal feelings when when we encounter a setback. But by planning ahead now and how we're going to respond to that when those setbacks come, because they're going to come, we will have a game plan in place on how to respond and overcome them. Setbacks are going to happen, but what matters most is how you react to them. Deciding ahead of time, having a game plan, having a plan in place is going to help you overcome them quickly and get right back on track. And like I said, these are going to happen all the time for the rest of our life, not only on weight loss, but just in our life in general. So we have to learn how to overcome those in a positive way that helps get us closer to our goals, not further away. Bumps in the road are just that, not the end of your journey. And that's what I want you to remember when you encounter any setback. I think this is a great topic. It's something, like I said, that's going to happen to each and every one of us. And by Taking these three simple steps, you can learn to overcome them a lot more effectively and get right back to the goals that you're trying to reach. Speaking of goals that we're trying to reach, let's talk about this week's weigh-in. So this was an interesting one. So last week I maintained my weight to the ounce. The last couple of weeks prior to that of my cut, I lost a little bit, equaling about a pound over the course of two weeks. And like I said, when I did my check-in this last Friday with Kayleen on Trainwell, she made a comment that, oh, the cut is working. Your pictures look amazing. I also mentioned that I started my cycle just a couple of days ago. So when I stepped on the scale today, I actually am up one pound. So essentially I'm, I have regained, we'll talk about that, the one pound that I lost over the course of a couple of weeks. And then, like I said, maintained that one pound loss last week. Did I gain a pound? No, this is a fluctuation. I'm on my cycle, been feeling a little bit more bloated, like I mentioned. So this isn't an actual pound of fat gain. In fact, my pictures, the ones we were discussing, Kayleen and I, I actually look a lot leaner and thinner, even though nothing's really changed. In fact, my weight is pretty stable throughout this entire cut. We'll talk more about that next week when we end out the eight week cut, but that doesn't mean that other changes aren't happening that have nothing to do with the scale. So when I got on the scale today and saw one pound gain, I just brushed it off because like I said, it's not a gain of fat. It's simply a weight fluctuation. And I bet I, if I was a betting woman, I would say that when I step on the scale next week, it'll be gone. We shall see. We shall see. But if I was a betting woman, that's what I would be betting. It's just another reminder that the scale isn't the only measurement of our success. Take those pictures, take those measurements, make sure you're doing that so that when the scale goes in the wrong direction, you don't get discouraged because the other pieces, measurements, 
photos are showing a much different story than the scale. The scale measures mass. It doesn't know what the mass is made up of. So I'm anxious to see what happens next week overall as I round out the final week of my cut. How I navigate this weekend, this little girl's weekend, I'll let you know next week how that goes as well. But overall, I'm feeling, I'm feeling really good. I'll go ahead and pop up here on the screen my total weight loss as well as my current weight. As a reminder, I am 5'8". I do have quite a bit of lean muscle, so my weight is a little bit higher, but my body is a little bit smaller. I actually had someone comment on my weigh-in video last week, and she said that she weighs about 20 pounds less than I do and feels like she looks much larger. And in fact, she told me what size of clothing she wears, and it's two to four sizes larger than the clothing that I wear, and I weigh 20 pounds more. So it's just another, it's just more proof that lean muscle versus fat looks very different on a body. Someone can be the same height and the same weight and look completely, completely different. So yes, the scale weighs a lot for me, but my body is healthy and toned and fit and I don't really just care what the scale says. Like I said, it simply measures mass. It doesn't tell me my worth. It doesn't tell me how I'm doing on my weight loss journey. It's just one simple piece of the puzzle. The measurements and the pictures, that to me is a bigger indicating indicator of overall success. So one pound up this week, not mad about it. Let's see what this next week brings. So now I wanna hear from you guys. How was your week? How was your weigh-in? Let me know how you're liking the health and nutrition planner. And if you purchase it, let me know that too down below so that Lola and I can thank you and again, thank you for your continued support. It really means a lot to us. I love hearing about your successes and on your weight loss journey as well. So let me know everything in the comments. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Check out that description box for the health and nutrition planner, nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our free Facebook group. We would love to have you. Happy Friday, friends. I will see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye.